wanted it out of their neighborhood, but they didn't want it dead. A wildlife agency is facing questions as to why they had a 10-foot alligator that was found in a residential area in New Orleans killed. Travers Mackle has the story. The gator was spotted just after 9 a.m. and caught the attention of many in Lakeview. I just was taking a walk and I run into a huge alligator and a mama duck trying to walk her babies back to City Park. NOPD officers called the State Department of Wildlife and Fisheries, who in turn called a trapper. That man captured the gator and later euthanized it. That decision sparked a firestorm on social media. I chair the Senate Natural Resource Committee, which has oversight over wildlife and fisheries. And caught the attention of former state senator Norby Schaber. It seemed to me like he was just hanging out on the side of the road. If I'm wrong there, then I'm wrong. But it doesn't seem to me like the gator was posing any threat. In particular, a gator that's 10 foot long. That boy's been around for a long, long time. But wildlife and fisheries says the trapper did nothing wrong. A spokesperson says the agency employs about 50 trappers statewide. All are permitted. The agency recommends destroying any gator that's longer than eight feet, but the trapper does have discretion. In this case, LDWF says no one violated any laws or policies by euthanizing the gator, and the 10 footer shouldn't be relocated. When the nuisance hunter gets to the scene, they have protocol that they have to go by. And yes, they make the determination on whether or not it's an animal that should be relocated or not. But some disagree. So I just think it would have been a better thing to do to throw it in the back of the truck and relocate it to maybe uh, Lake Pontchartrain or the Moorpark Swamp or something nearby. Poor alligator.